Vsauce! I'm Jake, and my favorite game series for Nintendo is Super Smash Bros. And while playing the latest game in the series, Smash Bros Ultimate, I got to thinking, what if these moves that are featured in the game were to happen to you in real life? So today we are going to focus on three characters and a specific move from each of them. Ganondorf, Isabelle, and Wii Fit Instructor. Now, it goes without saying that if any character from Smash were to come at you, your likelihood of walking away from that battle would be very small. But with these three characters and their moves we will be discussing, they are not only deadly, but surprisingly so. So let's start with Ganondorf and his Warlock Punch. For this move, Ganondorf channels dark energy into a devastating punch. In the game, when Ganondorf hits you with his Warlock Punch, you generally fly back quite a distance. But if this hit you in reality, it would actually be much, much worse. And to fully explain why, we need to first talk about what fuels his punch. Dark Energy. Dark Energy is a property of space. The more space there is, the more dark energy. That is to say that as space expands, dark energy is not diluted. Not only that, as more space comes into existence, more dark energy would appear causing the universe to expand faster and faster. This relates to a discarded version of Einstein's theory of gravity in which he referred to this concept as the cosmological constant, something that counteracts gravity. An additional theory for dark energy relates back to the first to a degree. It is some kind of energy fluid or field that fills all of space, and as NASA states, whose effect on the expansion of the universe is the opposite of that of matter and normal energy. And that's really all we know. Nobody knows exactly what dark energy is. It is a theoretical concept to explain a problem. The problem being the universe expanding at an increasing rate. That something is opposing gravity. So taking what we do know about dark energy, we can speculate, and I want to emphasize that we are speculating what Ganondorf's Warlock Punch would do if it hit you. Not only would his punch just be incredibly powerful in and of itself because of his strength and size, but if he did hit you with a Warlock Punch, you would not only be pushed back by the force of the hit, but also by the dark energy force. You just don't get up afterwards and shake it off. You keep getting punched in a sense. You are never at rest. The force from his fist is still on you, even though physically his fist is no longer touching you. And that force gets stronger and more powerful as you are flung back further from it because dark energy is the opposite of gravity. Unless you were somehow physically stopped, you would just keep going forever. And of course, at some point, the force applied to wherever you were hit, let's say, the chest would eventually crush your bones and organs and you'd just be a corpse moving through the air. So not very good. Now there are other incredibly powerful punches in Smash Bros, like the Falcon Punch. And while deadly, you can imagine what would happen if a fist moving so quickly it ignited in flame were to hit you. But for a really wonderful analysis, Loxton and Noggin have a great video on the topic, which I'll link in the description down below. And the term falcon punch actually comes from real life falcons punching their prey in flight. Which makes me wonder, what are the most powerful punches in the animal kingdom? Well, to find out, let me just consult my tier zoo animal decks. Ah yes, the falcon punch. So falcons are actually more closely related to parrots than they are to any other birds of prey. And as a result, they didn't evolve the same knife-like talons that eagles, owls, and hawks did. Instead, they kill their prey by literally punching it at extremely high speeds. But when it comes to throwing a punch, even the falcon pales in comparison to the mantis shrimp, which can deliver a strike strong enough to crush the sturdy armor of a crustacean in a single hit. Their punches can reach speeds of 50 miles per hour in a little over a thousandth of a second, which is mind-blowingly quick, especially when you consider how much extra power is needed in order to overcome the drag imposed by the water. No animals can stand up to the force of a mantis shrimp's punch, and for that reason, it reigns supreme on the tier list of animal punches. And speaking of animals, let's choose a new Smash character that I found to be surprisingly deadly. The adorable Shih Tzu, Isabelle, and her fishing rod, Toss. For this move, Isabelle casts out a fishing line and can capture an enemy, throwing them. This specific move caught my eye because of just how powerful it is in the game. So how powerful would it be in real life? Well, a fishing rod is a lever. It's a simple machine generally used to amplify force. And there are three types of levers. Each one is distinguished by the relation of the three main parts. The fulcrum, the effort, also known as the force, and the load. A catapult would be a class one, a wheelbarrow would be a class two, and a fishing rod 
is a class three lever. If we look at the rod, the handle is the fulcrum, the force effort is the arm of the rod, and the load is whatever is attached to the end. Quick side note, your arm when lifting is also a class three lever. Oh yeah, 200, easy. Now here is where something counterintuitive but perfect for Isabel's deadly move comes in. It's harder to lift something with a class three lever than without one. What it does excel at is increasing the speed at which the object is lifted. It's a speed multiplier rather than a force multiplier, meaning Isabel has to be stronger to throw someone with the fishing rod than if she just picked them up with her paws and tossed them. But using the fishing rod, she can throw them much faster. But how much faster? Great question. The increase in speed is directly related to the length of the lever, the fishing rod, compared to the length of her arm. Using freeze frames, we can roughly estimate that the fishing rod is nine times longer than her arm, giving us a speed multiplier of nine times. And since it's harder to lift things with a class three lever, it also means Isabel has to be nine times stronger. She would literally be one of the physically strongest characters in the game. For example, here is one of the strongest humans on the planet, Thor the Mountain Bjornsson, throwing a 12.32 kilogram beer keg eight meters into the air. Isabel could throw Thor holding a keg faster and farther. So with all that in mind, with some really cool studies on how fast a fishing line travels through the air, we can estimate that if you were thrown by Isabel with her fishing rod, you would be traveling at around 643.7 kilometers per hour if she threw you straight forward, about 72% the speed of a commercial airplane. You would travel 240 meters in 1.3 seconds. And going from zero to 643.7 kilometers per hour in roughly half a second would mean you'd experience 36.5 Gs of force. At that level of acceleration, the average human body would briefly weigh 2.6 metric tons, about as much as a small car. You'd bleed into your retinas, causing temporary blindness, and you'd black out from either the lack of oxygen going to the brain, or just from the brain slamming into your skull. Oh, and if it were quick enough, your neck would snap. However, that's not the end of it. If she threw you into a wall, or really any hard surface, you would immediately die. Now on to our last character, the Wii Fit Trainer, and her move, the Sun Salutation. For this move, the Wii Fit Trainer generates a Sun Energy Ball that can be used as a projectile. If she is creating a ball made out of Sun Energy, the closest analog would be plasma, the fourth state of matter along with solids, liquids, and gases. Plasma is a superheated gas that also conducts electricity. Now, how hot would this be? Well, the corona of the sun, the outermost layer, is 10 million degrees Celsius. Even if we went to the surface of the sun, it would still be a scorchingly hot 6,000 degrees Celsius. And since you'd be standing next to this ball of hot death, we are going to go with the temperature of the corona. If you were faced with a sun salutation, things would not be looking good for you. Water turns into gas vapor at 100 degrees Celsius, so every liquid in your body would instantaneously evaporate, and so would those nice wet balls in your head that you use to see. Your bones would evaporate too. Actually, everything in the vicinity of you would evaporate. The stage you're on, the air around you, even we Fit Trainer themselves. It would be a kamikaze move, and this would all happen instantaneously. The closest visual example I can think of is this. So with all things said, you don't want to go up against any Smash character in real life, but these three in particular I found to be incredibly interesting in just how underratedly devastating they would be in reality. Not just to you, but to anyone or anything around you. If there are specific characters you want to see explored in scientific reality, let me know in the comments below. And speaking of underrated, let's go back to our Tier Zoo Animal Decks to find out what the three most underrated animals are. When it comes to the tier list of the animal kingdom, there are plenty of obvious frontrunners. Everyone knows that humans are OP, since they can invent tools so powerful that they can boost all their stats to the max. And everyone knows that animals like the dolphin with their echolocation, and the lion with their awesome coordinated attack strategies, are also top tier. But there are some lesser known creatures that I think have some equally incredible abilities, worthy of mention when discussing the competitive meta of evolution. Be sure to follow me over to TierZoo to find out by clicking the link at the top of the description or by clicking right over here. And, as always, thanks for watching.